Hi, my name is Philip, and I want to talk to you about some common misconceptions that you may have about vaping. Now, if you're like me, you spend a lot of time scrolling through memes on the internet, and you may be done through Instagram, on Reddit, or other apps. And you probably encounter a lot of memes that are related to vaping, such as the we get it, you vape meme. Uh, many of these memes are created for comedic purposes, but they can actually reveal how prevalent vaping is and how it's perceived for many individuals of the millennial generation and of the Z generation. Uh, and here's another meme that reveals how it's seen as trendy and cool compared to smoking cigarettes because there are so many flavors and because they can be used in connection with their smartphone the apps. So here's some common misconceptions uh, about vaping. Well, the first one is, is that there's actually no current evidence to support the use of vaping for the purpose of smoking cessation. Many smokers are misled to believe this by advertisements that it's a safer alternative because it doesn't contain many of the harmful substances that are found in cigarettes. And they also believe that it can be used as a bridge to quit altogether. But this is not supported by any scientific literature currently, and some studies actually imply that it may be harder to commit to quit smoking as a vapor than smokers who don't vape at all. Uh, another misconception is that nicotine, uh, sorry, is that vaping contains less nicotine uh, than cigarettes, but that's not actually not true. Uh, there's actually a, a wide variety of e-cigarettes found on the market today and they all contain varying, le varying levels of nicotine levels and many manufacturers have actually allowed the user to adjust the amount of nicotine that they ingest. Uh, another misconception is that nicotine in of itself is a harmless substance but that also is not true. Nicotine has been associated with the interference of brain development in individuals uh, less than 25 years old. And chronic nicotine use can cause vasoconstriction, high blood pressure, and lung disease, and is also associated with increased risk for heart attacks, stroke, and cancer. Uh, another thing that manufacturers of vapor, va vaping will tell you is that the emissions are just harmless water vapors that don't do any damage to the surrounding people in the surrounding environment or to themselves. But these emissions are actually aerosolized, meaning it's composed of ultra-fine particles that remain suspended in their environment for a short period of time. These aerosols and vaping uh, consist of a combination of volatile organic compounds that are able in this form to pass through the body's natural protective uh, mechanisms and cause damage to the tissues underneath.